Peggy 3. With the Football Manager series, we're always looking for ways to make the game as realistic as possible off the pitch as well as on it. To achieve this goal, one of the staff roles we've expanded in Football Manager 2013 is that of the Director of Football. Managers can now hire and fire a Director of Football and, once they're appointed, you can instruct them to take care of a number of day-to-day -day tasks that will make your life a little bit easier. When you go to the Team Policy section, you'll see all the different areas you can ask your Director of Football to look after. These include hiring and firing all members of staff, identifying and making offers for your potential first team and youth team signings, selling or renewing contracts for first and youth team players, youth development, managing scouts, managing your team selection and even confirming transfers for you. All of these options can be customised so now you can be as involved with as many or as few aspects of managing your team as you want to be. Plus, FM13 allows the manager to present the director of football with multiple shopping lists, leaving them to take care of the nitty gritty of transfer and contract negotiations. The director of football can also deal with any players in your squad who you no longer want. All of this means that you'll still have complete control over the makeup of your squad, even if you don't want to go through the transfer and contract negotiations yourself. You can also create a development list which specifies the younger players in your current squad who you'd like to get some first team experience. The director of football can then be left to secure loan moves for these players. So that's the new director of football role. The director of football can be a great addition to your backroom staff having expanded this role within the game to include the kinds of things that they help managers with in real life. <laughs>